Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Today I'm going to show you a 1996 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra, 33,000 miles, one owner, all the documentation, and we just serviced it completely. Water pump, brand new tires, serpentine belt, and all fluids and filters. If you guys have any questions about this ride or any of our inventory, click on the link below. Also, please subscribe so we can give you more great content just like this. I'd rate the overall condition of this Cobra a 7.5 out of 10. It's original paint, but there are minor rock chips and a little bit of paint uh, imperfections in regards to some staining on the hood. We did have this professionally polished by Eastside Detail and they did a great job. We also had it serviced at Brad's Automotive in regards to fluids, filters, the water pump. They checked the brakes and went through everything. We'll start off with the front fascia. Front bumper is extremely nice. There is a slight amount of sun fade on the front end. We did replace the uh, actual headlights and we, I believe we still have the original ones and they look great. Fog lights work as they should. All the ponies, so this was one of the, this was the era where everybody was doing gold emblems on everything. So we re-chromed it basically. So we had all the components ordered from LMR and we replaced all the horses, all the Cobra emblems, along with the rear SVT emblems. So as I look at the driver's side, it's extremely clean. You can see my reflection in the paint and it shows very well. Roof line is extremely nice and all the badges are brand new. Wheels are in great shape. Center caps are starting to show their age, so there's some plastic that's cracking inside there. Uh, we put a set of Goodyear Eagles on there. We didn't go for a cheap tire. That's a nice tire that gives you good traction. All the doors open up properly and the interior is extremely clean. So this had covers on it that we're gonna include and all we did was condition the leather. Leather is nice and supple. Steering wheel is in great shape. It does have the, the period carbon fiber, so everybody did that in the 2000s. You could buy that from like all your speed shops back then. It does look good. Your air condition works as it should. The radio sounds really nice. Dash is in great shape with no bubbling. Headliner is very nice, and we'll go over the interior when we go for the test drive. It has never been repainted. Rear quarter is in great shape. And then if you want to see underside shots of this Cobra, please take a look at the link below. It's going to bring you to our gallery, and you'll be able to see all the underside shots. Exhaust tips are very nice. It, and those are the Marauder tips. So that's from the, uh, I guess, the 2003 Marauder, 2003, 2004 Marauder. Underside's very clean. Brakes feel great. Uh, 96 is when they brought back the retro style for the three lines for the taillights. Let me pop the trunk real quick. So this car comes with two sets of keys, the original window sticker SVC certificate, along with the owner's manual, and additional documentation. Here's the uh, seat cover that I was talking about. There's two of them. There's your SVT certificate and then the window sticker. So this is 26,645 new. I bet you it'll still bring more than that nowadays because it's so nice and it has 33,000 miles and it's a one owner car. So our rear end's really clean. I just talked about the tail lights, how they brought that design back. This is powered by a modular motor, so it's a 4.6, uh, 300 and, I think it's 320 horsepower. And it, the, the power is at a higher RPM, so before this they had the 5 liter. So they were carrying the 5 liter from the Fox body and then they, they changed the body styles. And that was like 225 horsepower. They had a Cobra R that had more horsepower and then they came out with this one, which is a, I mean, a lot of power, a lot of fun. I think it does a zero to 60 in five seconds, which is fast for 1996. The caps are really nice. You can see that they have no paint work. Tires are in great shape and they're brand new. When you look at the passenger side, there's no dents or dings, no ripples. Your vents look good over here. Doors open up nicely and all the plastic. So they use like a uh, ABS style plastic for the sides and for the bumpers and it's still in great shape. Door cards are very nice. All your windows go up and down with ease. There's no funny sounds from the motor. Let's get to the good stuff. I didn't even open the hood yet. So 96 is when they came out with this different style hood because the motor sat taller. The engine's pretty big for being a 4.6. There it is. Very nice and tidy, still has Motorcraft uh, components throughout. We did Motorcraft fluids and filters. Uh, dual throttle body, so that's different for, for 96. Uh, mass airflow. 
We put a Motorcraft battery in there, a new one in there, and you do have a tender in case you want to charge it. Very tidy engine bay. Let me close this and we'll take it for a ride. But first, let me start it so you can hear how nice it sounds. It has like a Flowmaster style exhaust. So let me start it, I'm pushing the clutch in. Clutch feels really good. Starts up like that every time, air is ice cold. We're in the cabin right now, steering wheel is extremely nice. Horn works, your cruise control works, air conditioning is blowing ice cold. And as I talked about before when we were doing that exterior walk around, you have that carbon fiber accent throughout. That was really common. When I was in uh, college, I actually worked at a speed shop. This stuff sold off the shelf like crazy. You could do any color. Only thing I'm worried about is taking it off because it's gonna probably remove the, uh, the texture and leave a lot of adhesive. So we're gonna leave that, but I'm sure it is possible to take it off. The shifter's very nice. It's never been smoked in, it's a one owner car. The emergency brake works as it should. Fog lights work. The dash is extremely nice. Um, there's one small raised spot right here, but I'm being so picky right now. What was that? Oh, the radio. Radio works great. So let you start saving for just $45 a, a month. Pretty you just pick the plane right for your button. You got a CD player and then the glove box. It's empty because all the items are in the back. Headliner is extremely nice. All your lights in, inside work. This is the type of car that we've prepared for someone to fly in from California and drive home. And that's the whole purpose of us selling, sell 90% online because we give it exactly how it is. You don't get any surprises. You can look at our reviews, you can look at our feedback in regards to selling over 1,700 cars. That's why we're still in business from sight unseen purchases. You can see the rear seats are extremely clean. Uh, and you can see that, I think it's a, what did they call this stereo? It was like the, uh, a mock stereo. So it was 460 watts. There's some big speakers back there. Tint is older, so you see a little bit of purpling, but it looks great from the outside. Oh, the lights don't work on this, but yours does. Mirrors work as they should. Seats, all the all the uh, options for the seat works. You go back and forth. You can actually tilt the wheel. Wipers work, and they have new wiper blades. Um, let's put it in gear. So let's test out the clutch. I'm just gonna pull it out. I'm not giving it any gas. There's no chattering at all. It's nice and smooth. I would say it's releasing like at the 50% point. No slippage. Feels really good, plenty of power. Going into second right now, it's nice and smooth. There's no rear end slot, which is common for this model. turn left here and then we'll go to our closed course so we can get some outside shots. Brakes are amazing. The exhaust sounds really good too. So this is a higher, higher revving motor compared to the 5 liter. I think the peak power for the torque is at 5,000 RPMs if I'm not mistaken. get some outside shots just driving by and then we'll continue on our test drive on the way back to the office it's lunchtime and i know will is super hungry he's let me know that about five times <laughs> if you have any questions about this ride give us a call at 954-363-2261 thanks again